All right, what we got here is two foot rebuilding drills. And the idea with these is I wanna treat my feet almost like my hands, where I am working on the grip strength, hoping that that trans, or not hoping, expecting that this strength translates and connects to this chain running up my leg. So a lot of these drills, I'm trying to strengthen these muscles right here and attach the fascia, integrate the fascia and the musculature all the way up the back of my leg. Cause we know this fascia is connected all the way back up my leg into my butt and carried out throughout my entire posterior chain going through my, the back of my head. We also know that if my feet are weak or they are disconnected from that posterior chain, it is going to restrict my movement and it's going to lead to pain and injury. So the first row here is just a simple towel curl. Some of us may have done this in our ankle rehab. What I'm doing right is just first curling the towel in with my toes, working on that grabbing sensation. But to make it harder, I'm going to lift my right heel off of the ground, pressing my weight into the balls of my feet. Try to do that evenly, because what you're gonna find is you're gonna be leaning to one side or the other on your foot. I want that weight distribution even while you do this drill. So really spreading your toes up and then trying to grab and crunch in the towel. And what's gonna happen is after 30 seconds to a minute, which is your rep range, you're gonna start to feel your foot cramp, then your calf, then hopefully your ham and glutes. If you can feel your glutes early in this activity, that means you have a good fascial connection, right? Because the foot and the glutes, that is our fascial highway. That is going to directly correlate to good movement and a lot of powerful movement. For me, this connection almost stops at the calf. And a lot of the times my calves will start cramping up and I cannot continue that sensation up to my ham and glutes, which probably has a lot to do with my knee injury. So what I'm trying to do is connect that entire chain Breathe into my core, same core activation as always, and trying to really connect that muscular musculature on the back of my leg. I would do that for 30 to 60 seconds on each foot. As you progress, you can then start pushing this working foot in different motions, right? So now it's on the back side. I can still lean my body weight and work on that same toe action. I can put it out to the side and I can change the angle of my toe curl. But first, have your working foot a little bit front and progressively lean more weight into that. The second drill is ideally used with a marble. I don't have a marble right now, so I'm gonna show you an easy way to get out of that. Just crunch up a piece of tissue paper. What I'm gonna do is grab that in between my second and third toe, and then I'm holding that tissue. Right, so ideally, I would have a step up so that I can freely swing my leg here. And that's all we're doing now is smoothly going into some leg swings. You can hold on to something to the side. Again, ideally, my left foot is like a foot above, so I can almost hang this foot down more while I'm crunching my foot. We want to do 10 to 12 leg swings here and really work on opening up this gate while seeing how it feels in our legs. Do that, after that you can start bending your foot more like a running motion. So again, both this back chain and the standing leg is gonna feel a lot different than it usually does.